Alright guys, back at you with another knife video. Brand new Spyderco. This is the Spyderco Advocate. It is designed by Mr. Gail Bradley. And it says logo out of Weatherford, Texas. Or, yeah, Weatherford, Texas. This is a Tai Chung made Spyderco in CPM M4 steel. Titanium frame lock flipper with an orange peel finish on the titanium, which is really handsome. I'm getting a little bit of shadowing, so I'm hoping to get rid of that. Okay, so this is just a kind of a first impressions video. Came in the typical Spyderco box. Like I said, made in Tai Chung. Let's give it a closer look of this. Let's see a that. And I want to see. I want to show you guys the texturing on the titanium. It's very cool. It's an orange peel finish done on a lot of custom knives. Very cool to see it done on a production and it gives it a really kind of um, almost a like a satin type finish. If you look at the liner, not the liners, but the inside of the uh, flipper you get right there. Super polished right here. Sorry. Ugh. I'm off in the camera. Super polished inside of here and along the edges here. So this part of the titanium scales are very polished, which looks really cool actually. And then you have the orange peel, titanium, show side and lock side. Got your standard uh, three, three screw um, pocket clip, same as the paramilitary two. So you should be able to use any of those aftermarket clips on this knife, depending on how the holes lie. Yeah, it should be fine with the lock bar they've kind of angled it uh, so you can probably use one of those it runs on it has a very very thin it's a very thin design very similar to the spidey chef in a thickness in fact I'd be willing to bet they're about the same that's how far it's thick so they're very slim knives so keep that in mind um, when you're looking at this one it has standoffs and lanyard hold both the clip can be both left or right tip up only it does on bearings it's a nice flipper. Let's give you a look at the blade. It's a good looking blade. Spotty logo there. Number 105. Low serial number. So these are just brand new out of the market, guys. Just came out. And so I grabbed one as soon as I could. And a lot of dealers have kind of been doing their um, pre-orders on these. Um, but I'm sure they'll you know, start to trickle in a little bit here, um, here shortly. So let's go ahead and go over the specs of this one a little bit. You do have a 3.49 inch blade with a 3.23 inch cutting edge. There's a little bit of a choil up here. Not a whole lot though. You can get your finger pretty close to the blade there. Your um, closed length is 4.55 inches, so right in the wheelhouse of a good size knife. Overall length 8.04, blade thickness 0.18. One one eight it does have a full flat grind, which is a nice uh, should be a good slicer. You have a drop point blade, titanium handles, the reeve integral lock as we've seen here, and this is weighs in at three point six ounces, very lightweight. And yes, this is one of Squireco's new for two thousand sixteen, and is one of my most anticipated knives. That and the Spidey Chef, which I've been loving. Did a review on this one. Um, the Spidey Chef. So I wanted to try out another flipper from Spyderco. In the past I haven't been terribly impressed with their flippers. Um, so it is nice to see that they have... Uh, the flipper tab on this is pretty good sized. And it, it gives you a lot of leverage to flip that out. Now, the detent is tuned as much that you can use the thumb hole to open. And if you notice here on the frame, there is a recess right here to get your thumb in there and really flick it. And yes, you can also do the middle finger flick so many different ways to open this knife you're not stuck to the flipper you do have a hole um, looks to be yeah it's it's smaller than on the paramilitary 2 how's it compared to the spidey chef let's see here I would say it's a little bit it's about the same size as the, as the hole on the uh, spidey chef as well so you have multiple ways to open not just flipping but it does have a good flipping action um, one thing I did notice, this again, first impressions video, is the lock bar cutout has a weird little hump right here. You notice that? 
and when you, the knife is open, you can see that on the other side of the scale. It's a, it's a strange, and it's kind of the way he did it on his um, Gail Bradley non-flipper folders, um, just the Gail Bradley 1 and 2. And I wasn't a huge fan of it. It had like a really aggressive jimpy. Now, they haven't done jimping right here. They've made it smooth, um, but it is still a little weird. It's not uncomfortable, but it's definitely not as easy as like the disengaging the lock on the Spidey Chef or like on the, um, like a, uh, another one to compare it to, the ZT562 carbon fiber. It's just easier because it's recessed, like so. And look at the Spidey Chef. It's the same. Well, it's pretty flat on this one, but it's just a lot easier. And it has that little indentation there. So, I mean, that's not my favorite thing about the knife. It was a, kind of a complaint I had on the other Gale Bradley model, so it's just a design as aspect of his. Um, again, not um, my favorite, but not to take away from the knife it my first impressions are very good it's a really good looking knife um, and if you um, if you kind of unlock it this way with your other finger like that and rip it around you don't even notice it which is maybe the way he intended it but if you do it traditionally with your thumb you'll notice what I'm talking about so it's, it's not a deal breaker at all it's just something I, I wanted to point out something I noticed on this one but Overall, a very handsome folder. That orange peel texturing is really cool. Help you can see it. It's kind of hard to see almost on camera, um, but you can see it versus like a like this has kind of a light stone washing on the titanium. You can definitely see the finishing difference there. Um, it doesn't add a lot of grip though. This is pretty slick. I'm gonna be honest with you, but the jimping up here is really well done, and the flipper guard. Gives you a nice way to lock in your hand, and, and you're not going to have that knife move on you. So I wouldn't worry too much about the texturing. The reverse grip is ultra comfortable, very, very comfortable in the reverse grip. Let's zoom out a little bit, sorry. Overall, i um, pretty excited about this one. It, it's a good-looking knife. It uh, flips well. Um, flips pretty with good authority. It's not the smoothest knife. I mean, it's you can got to give it a few shakes to get it to close, but that'll probably loosen up with time. But uh, a good flipper, um, has a good detent, flies out of there, and you can still use, like I said, the thumb hole and such. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this knife so far. Um, anything I haven't covered, like I said, it is CPM M4 steel, full flat grind. Out of the box sharpness is typical, very sharp Spyderco. Not going to have an issue there. I've been pleased with M4, I've got it on my... Um, Carbon fiber repair too, which I love. It's been a great steel, so no complaints there. I do like how the body screws are also recessed into the frame, so it's really flush. It gives it a nice sleek look. Overall, a very nice new folder from Spyderco. These come in around 220, um, 220, 230 price range. Uh, considering the materials used and the quality in the Taichung factory is top notch, um, I think that's a good price. Right around where it should be, right around the $200 mark. So, um, give or take a little bit more, you're probably going to find them used for around $200, but new $220 to $230 is, uh, is the map pricing on these. Um, overall, I'm, I like it. It's very comfortable in the hand. Like I said, very thin. It's lightweight. It'll make a great EDC knife. So, here is a size comparison, real quick, to the Spidey Chef. It's almost nearly identical in size. The 562 carbon fiber is a little bigger. And there's the paramilitary too. So kind of give you an idea there of the size. I would say it's slightly smaller than the 562 and the para 2. Yeah, definitely smaller. But right around the same size as the Spidey Chef. So if you want a non-flipper knife, there you go. Great choice. Um, but this is a great little flipper. I really like it. And it's nice to see Spyderco making more flippers this year. I like that they used a nicer steel on this one. The magnitude... I liked, but it was like almost 300 bucks, and it had S30V, and I just didn't feel like the value was there. Whereas the Spidey Chef and this one are around the same price, and they use great steals. Um, and, you know, I think it's a good value for the price. So I think Spyderco is going to have a great one on this one. I do like the polished titanium. It just looks really handsome. It looks more expensive than it is. It's not just your plain Jane uh, titanium frame lock with that texturing, the orange peel. On the titanium, it just looks really cool. Really cool finish on that. 
So cool to see Spyderco do something new um, that most production knife companies have not done that you usually would find on a custom knife is that orange peel texturing. So, All right, guys, I think that's going to wrap up my first impressions of the Spyderco Advocate. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them down below, and we'll see you in the next video.